Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Rainbow High unboxing. Today we have got the iconic Paris Hilton. Now, this is the first Paris Hilton doll that we've gotten, which is kind of surprising that Rainbow High got to her before Barbie, because she kind of was the Barbie of the early aughts. If y'all remember those times, those dark times where everything was low rise and everyone was anorexic. It's a bad time for all of us. And yet it's back in style, so here we are. <laughs> this was a hundred dollar doll. I did not pay that price. That would have been ridiculous to pay for what is essentially just a standard Rainbow High doll. Um, but they upped the price from Lily Chang, who was, I think, the best collector doll that they had done until this one. So we're going to take a look at this one and see. But I paid about, I think it was 44 or something along that lines. I got her in a flash sale at Walmart. She randomly went on sale one day. I've had her for months. She's been sitting here waiting for me to unbox her, so I'm treating it like a Christmas present to myself. So, we want to take a look at her, but we're going to look at her box first. So here she is on the back. She's got the little puppy. She has got her second outfit on in the back. She is a premium edition, is what they call her. And here is her UPC. Now, she is still for sale at some places. Let's take a look at her inside the box. As you can see, very cool. She has got some awesome boots and a coat dress and a phone over here. And then she has got a ton of accessories on, on her main outfit. She's got at least three bracelets. She has got earrings. She has got a tiara. She has got a choker. She's got a makeup box. I am looking forward to unboxing this doll because she is a standard platinum blonde which we don't really get that often in um, Rainbow High Dolls. But she's also got a description over here. It says, Paris Hilton is an entrepreneur, global influencer, and Rainbow High style icon. She turns heads everywhere she goes and seldom steps out without her Pomeranian bestie, Mr. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we've got a Paris Hilton signature down here on her packaging. Very, very cute. I am excited to have this doll. So let's take a look at what she looks like out of the box. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all, we have got her out of the box. I have not completely unboxed her fashions yet, so I wanted them to be on display while we talked about the uh, actual doll. So while removing your doll from the packaging, be careful that you do not lose these. They are in the same bag as your stand pieces. So be careful that they don't fly away because this is actually your second set of earrings that you get with Paris. So you get some big diamond studs to go with the second outfit, I guess. So, she actually comes with a quick start guide. So she's got a, your doll, your suit dress and boots, two pairs of earrings, three bracelets, one diamond choker, and one tiara, one purse, one puppy, one dress, one pair of shoes, one cell phone, one phone case, one hanger, one comb, and one doll stand. This is how they want you to put Mr. Amazing on there. And something that I didn't, that I've never seen before, is an important information. Do not use any form of heat such as blow dryer, curling iron, crimper, etc. on the doll's hair as it may cause irreparable damage to the hair. That's kind of weird because usually there are, I don't remember ever seeing that kind of warning. It seems weird that there's not better quality hair on this doll. 
I don't know if that's something they just started doing on all dolls, but Saran and um, Nylon you used to be able to use heat with. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. But Paris does feel like a Lux doll. She does have the ankle articulation that we got with Jet first. This outer part of her dress is actual like metal. There is an underdress that it's stacked on top of, but it's like a metal chainmail almost. Mr. Amazing is actually articulated. If we see this to where he can like, I guess just like sit. He can't really do anything else, but his tail is articulated, his arms, his head goes left to right. So all in all, pretty well articulated for a pet. Um, not something I really thought about being articulated was the little dog, but not bad. Again, our standard rainbow high comb. If you don't have a million of these at this point from all the rainbow high dolls, what, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> uh, now, she has got a little purse. This looks more like a makeup box, like a go kit but it is very cool. Um, I left this little elastic on there because I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to come off because every which way I pull it does not come off and I'm going to have to cut it off if I take it off, but it's a good way to attach it to the hand. But it also has a little rainbow high like luggage tag, so that's pretty fun. Let's take a closer look at Paris herself. So, the dreaded fingerless gloves make an appearance on Paris. Not super happy about that. I hate these gloves. They are just a piece count. And I hate that because they don't really add anything to the outfit. Um, but we've got two bracelets. She does have a unique one that is a P and not a... Uh, are for Rainbow High, so that's kind of fun. But I feel like we've seen both of these other bracelets before. We have not seen the choker before. It does just snap on like that. It does have some cute little crystals in there that are actual crystals, it's not just little bits of shiny. I think those are actual Swarovskis. I think that's why this doll was supposedly more expensive. Um, because of the Swarovski crystal detailing. But just look at the way this moves. This is actual metal, like that's great. One thing I don't love is how it looks right there. Just with the way the seam is on the strap, it either needs to be relayed or I need to pin this part up a little bit to avoid seeing that. But it does have a little safety pin detail down there. That's in plastic, not metal. Her shoes are pretty cute, but they're pretty basic, really, for what I would have expected from Paris Hilton. Uh, they kind of dropped the ball on that. I don't think she's ever worn that basic of a shoe. Uh, but she is gorgeous. We love the face, of course. Like, the earrings are awesome, again, with Swarovskis. She's got a big Swarovski right there in the tiara, as you can see. So, we love that. It looks great on her. The outfit is super flattering. Now, our other problem that we have is that we have all of this stuff to redress her with. But I love that outfit. It's really cute. But I also really like that one. 
but I didn't order two of her because I'm not crazy like that. I have done it on other dolls, but that was when they were like $14. I don't buy duplicates of dolls that are over like $30 usually because these boots look awesome. The only problem I have is all of the gems that are on there are paste, which is fine if this was a solid boot. If this was a solid boot that you could um, just like, like the molded plastic that we used to get, like for Bella's boots in series one, like if it was this kind, I wouldn't worry about paste. I would say, okay, cool, that's fine. With fabric where you have to stretch it over the thighs, and this is a stretchy leather, <coughs> stretch pleather, actually, I worry about it. Part of me doesn't want to take these outfits out of the box because I feel like as soon as I put them on her, they are going to look wrong. But I don't know which way to go for it. So I think what I'm going to do instead of undressing her is I'm going to grab one of my spare rainbow high bodies that I have that doesn't carry hands. And these, use, these are used as my mannequins. Uh, and I think we're just going to put her second outfit on a mannequin. Or a mannequin body, that's what I mean to say. Uh, so, like, this is a an old, I think this was the green hair karma. Uh, so, she is going to be our model for this evening. I think the shoes will work. Not necessarily certain that they're going to work. These shoes may require the articulated ankles. But we're going to try our best. So we've got our stuff out. There's no hidden parts of her first outfit. Just FYI, in case you're wondering why I haven't taken it off. Everything that you see there is what you're getting. She's wearing bracelets. She's wearing gloves. She's wearing her tiara. And she is wearing her... Um, okay. And she's wearing her shoes. So we're going to try to grab only by the threaded parts. But gosh, this is going to be really difficult to put on. So this it has a sh it has a substructure under there but look at that that pearl is already trying to escape which is why i don't love when they do this to us because we don't have an option for it uh, because the only way to put this on and then you look at this one and it's really heavily glued on on a hundred dollar doll, this is kind of unacceptable, which is why I'm glad I did not pay a hundred dollars for this doll. I could not in good conscience recommend Rainbow High for over 60. Honestly, I think that's about where they should top out. And if there's anything like this that's glued, I think it should be less. Because uh, as you can see, the pearls just kind of look a little sloppy. There's not really a way to fix them. If they all fall off, they all fall off. That's just kind of how it is. Um, which is why I preferred the old style shoes. I'm going to put 
her back on the stand. Take this one off. And I think we might run into the exact same issue here on the outfit, which is distressing because it looks so nice, but we've got our phone with the Paris P on there. It does have the finger grab like all of our other phone cases. Put that over by Paris. Um, so, while this is a very pretty doll, I am not a fan of the fact that it has all of this stuff that's just paste. Like, it, it's very nice when you're looking at it. It is not nice when you've started to touch it or even just redress it. Like, I've, like I showed like a second ago, we already had one of the, um, we already had one of the pearls on the shoe come off. Like, and that is just us being careful with it. As it is. So, this is one piece. It has a really big tag inside there, so be careful with the tag. Um, but again, we have got all of these that are just glued on there. They're not sewn. We just have to kind of rely on these to stay put. I would have preferred them just do the embroidery instead of the pearls. The pearls are very cute, but they do not hold up. And I've seen that time and time again on some of my favorite Rainbow High outfits, that they just don't hold up. And it's very distressing because you don't really have another option as to how to fix them other than trying to maybe find some E5000 um, that'll work. But really, even those are kind of hit or miss because if you go slightly outside of where that pearl is gonna sit, you are gonna wind up with a really big noticeable stain on your doll clothes. So it is kind of one of those things that you need to be cognizant of before you attempt something like that. because you do run the risk of the whole thing not really working. So we've got our coat dress on. Again, we are already starting to lose one of our Swarovskis back here because they are just glued on. Um, it is so distressing. Um, this is her right foot. We're going to try to do this as easily as possible. And we lost like three pearls just now trying to put on the shoe. You guys see them in my hand? Yeah. Four. Four pearls already. Just trying to put the shoe on you lose the, what makes them special, these shoes. And these shoes are not easy to put on most of the time. Okay. Well, seven, seven pearls we lost just putting the shoe on. That is ridiculous. 
that is too many pearls to lose to just put the doll in the shoe. <sighs> this is kind of why I am anti pearl in Rainbow High. And this is why I'm anti fabric shoe in Rainbow High. Because it should not damage the actual piece to be put on. Like, there is no safe place for me to hold this to, like, scoot the thing up. Every time I'm touching these, the pearls are coming off. And that's just how it is, unfortunately, with this kind of material. So we've got her. She's lost a good chunk of her pearls already, I feel like, on her shoes at least. Her jacket, we were able to be a little more careful, but we've got all of these pearls that just fell off. Just from putting the shoes on the doll. Not moving the doll around a lot, not playing with the doll, just putting the shoes on. It is really upsetting because at this price point, I want things to actually be sewn on. And I know that is asking a lot, but I'm also not asking for rhinestones and I'm not asking for it to be at the $100 price point. but it is a very pretty outfit. But comparatively, I love this outfit 10 times more. I love this one in theory. I honestly probably should have just left it in the box and had them be a display piece, but that is not coming off this mannequin. Like it's not gonna go on Paris at any point. She is going to stay on this body and be displayed in my Rainbow High closet. Because, yeah, because there's nowhere else to put it that it's not going to get messed up. Because if I try to take those shoes off, we're going to lose another seven pearls at least, probably. And yes, I could glue those back on. I'm not going to, most likely because it's too much of an effort. You shouldn't have to repair a toy simply by playing with it. Because this is a premium edition doll that is falling apart. So I am very much more impressed with this dress that she is wearing than the coat dress. The coat dress is where all of our money went, I think, because the Swarovski crystals that are in that and the necklace and the earrings and the tiara are more expensive. They're just rhinestones. Like, they're not really that impressive. Um, but she is a very pretty doll in her main outfit. We have a lot of pink that she can wear. Granted, I think this was the outfit that she showed up in the episode in. Um, but, again, I'm not going to stage that doll like that. Because you saw how many rent, how many pearls we lost. And I don't want Swarovski crystals just floating around. Just for the fun of it. But, the doll looks really good. I'll give them that in the package, if she is just an in-the-box collector item, she looks great. The problem is, once you take her out, she does not hold up to the quality that I need in a toy. Like, 
they could have solved this by making these boots solid plastic. They have the molds for them. Like, there is not an issue. Um, they could have printed the pearls on there, for Christ's sake. Like, they could have done it that way. I would have been perfectly fine if the pearls were printed because we have had nightmares with these pearls. Print the pearls. Do vinyl, for all I care. But stop giving us these little, like, pearl, pearl caps that fall off the second we touch them. It is not, it's not making it look any better. Honestly, because you've got gaps in these outfits when things fall off. Um, but I digress. The doll is really pretty. The doll has all the articulation points that I want, except for the chest articulation um, that we got with Jet and then, like, never got again. So. She is very pretty. I like that they articulated the dog. That makes no sense, but it's fun. Um... I like that we got the little phone with her face on it. So, that's kind of fun. I like that they gave us a spare set of earrings. We don't normally get duplicates of earrings. Usually we get the earrings the doll is wearing, and that's it. But these, we got duplicates of, so that's great. Um, or not duplicates, but an extra pair. So, like I said, she looks great. If you're gonna keep if you're gonna keep her in the box, keep her in the box. If you want her for a rainbow high doll that is Paris Hilton, you can take her out. It's gonna be fine. Um, the dress will most likely fit um, petite Barbie more than it will fit original Barbie. If you want to just make your own, you know, Paris Hilton Barbie. Uh, but as it stands, I am very underwhelmed with the second outfit just because of the fact that the pearls fall off and the rhinestones are just glued on. We saw with the... Uh, with the bell radiance that Mattel gave us, you see I removed those jewels. There's a little hole. That's all that was there. But those jewels were sewn on. And yes, there were only nine of them, but it's just kind of like, it's the principle of the matter. You can do pearls. There are some that can be sewn on and it's fine. But these little, like, iron-on pearls, or whatever they're called, they don't work for dolls. They don't especially work on shoes. Never again on shoes, Mattel. I think that's why this doll has not sold out, because people like me know that these are going to fall off. Um, so that's why I like to say it in the reviews, because if you're planning to get this for a kid, don't. It's too expensive for a kid to play with. This is meant to be a collector's item. MGA put the work in to make it a collector's item, not a play toy. Um, but that being said, she is a doll. You know, like, that's what we got. So I enjoy her. I'm glad I didn't spend too much money on her because I'm not going to use this outfit on anyone. Like I would be trying to like swap it on to like Draculaura or something like that. No, this doll's staying on its thing right there and it's not going to take it off that mannequin. So if you guys have any questions other than everything that I've explained about this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. If you think I ranted too much, keep it to yourself. <laughs> and as always, 
Be good, y'all. Bye.